Hi, it's me, Vern, from uh, Four Wheel and Off Road Tech Editor with the Four Wheeler Network. I'm here in my shop in Peoria, Arizona, where it is 110 or 100 and something or other degrees. It's hot, and uh, we are about to fire the uh, 2.8 liter turbo diesel uh, Cummins turbo diesel in the uh, UA. 2017 UA CJ6D. Um, the it's a pretty cool little Jeep. Let me show you. There's Trentward McGoogleheimer's MD. He's a freelancer, and the guy has wired most of this. There's the Jeep. It's looking pretty hot, in my opinion. It's nice and low. Big tars, big axles. Um, Ultimate Dana 60s from uh, Dana Spicer. Robert Keller says hi, Trent. Hi, Robert. Hi, Robert. Oh yeah, we got like everybody here. The uh, engine in my S10 developed a rod knock um, a couple days ago, and so I called in my best uh, S10 engine swap guy, Harry Wagner, who's under here swapping the engine or taking a nap. And, uh, but back to the, uh, elephant in the room, which is the 2.8 liter diesel here. So the, uh, intercooler is not hooked up because we lack a couple of boots. And that means that the turbo is also not hooked up, but we understand from Cummins that it will run without the turbo. Although I think this will blow off if we don't remove it no at any rate we're gonna fire the thing up for the first time oil in it we've got coolant in it we've got some power steering fluid in it we've primed the fuel system we actually don't even know if it'll crank from the switch yet but no I guess we, we're about to find out. we haven't even cranked it so this could be a huge failure but major, major um we're gonna find out are you gonna do this thing trent no, if you want to. Oh, how about it Right. All right. Um, Holly Ruber McGee says, "Where's Hank? Hank's inside. <laughs> He's a little bit scared of this kind of stuff." Pumps on. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Let's see what happens. We did something right. It fired right up, right on the first go. running it actually sounds pretty good yeah. for not having the turbo hooked up add some coolant wow the uh, Murphy gauge is telling us stuff I don't know what it's telling us really And we're pouring out coolant somewhere. Oh, right here. It's your uh, ear plug as a plug. This this one. I don't know. It was just pouring out right there. Pouring out of here? Yeah, like right in here. It's probably because this is a diff this is five eighths and this is yeah. three quarter. But we were thinking it was going to work. Maybe we'll crank down on it some more. We were hoping it was going to work. What if you put a little piece of five? hose in there in, inside if, if you can you do you think you can well it ran we got a few more things to address but uh we're getting there by golly it fired right up that's pretty i mean that was like not snake oil we never, never no we never, never we never even cranked it so that was way easier than when you guys uh did the release fired up the willies yeah that yeah amazing. yeah well, well you know, oh good. if this you you always want to tighten the band clamps when you use them. Especially when you're using dissimilar size. This one time? This one time at band clamp. Forgot the Titan. Forgot the Nissan Titan DX. That band clamp. Also comes with the Cummins in it. It also comes with the Cummins in it.
What else? We should probably check the cartoon fluid. Yeah, you can see that? Would it suck it all in there? Let's see. See if the, the air conditioning, did the air conditioning run? Is that what you said? AC? Might, might need charging. The AC is not working properly, unfortunately. Nice full on PSC sends really nice Schwebco. Really high it's apparently very nice. expensive. It's the finest moonshine you can get. Well, Have a swig. Good it's already has swallowed a quart of it. Yep. With any luck, the uh, hydraulic lines are on backwards. 50-50 shot, get it wrong every time. Alright, let's see if that's... Alright. Put that back on, fire back up. Yeah, that's an idea. Do you know how to talk to the Murphy gauge to see if it's like got things like oil, oil pressure? pressure Maybe. Turbo's pushing a little air. The turbo's pushing a little air. Yeah, your leak is gone. Sorry, what's that? To level that water. Yes, Harry. Is it better live or on Facebook? In terms of the temperature? Yes. Perfect. Oh. And you broke my ram off. Do it again? Yes. It was just tack welded on. That's okay. Do it again though? Yeah, it's totally backwards. Wait, which way are you turning? Turn that way. Yeah, backwards. Yes, backwards. As expected. Sounds pretty good. Deep in revs. Not super happy about that. Some rattling. No idea. Okay, perfect. Not a clue. This Oh, they just changed. Whatever he did. Well, they changed periodically. Oh, oh, I see. Perfect. Yeah, so I don't know what else to show you. There's the floor. It's made out of the crate. The axles came in for the Magnum and the 205. It's a Ford 205 driver drop. This is the Ranger Overdrive shifter right here. SM420 shifter there. It's battery and a battery box from Rusty's Off-Road Falcons on uh, trail ready bead locks we uh channeled it dropped the body down as low as we could and then i chopped the windshield too and uh just uh built an exhaust with bits from summit racing 
So it's a Summit Racing muffler and uh, one of their uh, hot rod exhaust kits. It's got uh, coilovers from uh, Kurt Leduc coilovers from Skyjacker and uh, Skyjacker control arms all the way around and their track bars. It's got a, a fast fuel pump from uh, uh, Diesel Power Products up there in uh, Spokane Valley. Shout it's got some old boat trailer lights on it that have a uh, tape on them so they'll be red. Keep the fuzz off Christian's tail. I don't know. What else am I forgetting? Everything? Uh, rugged radio. With intercom. With an intercom system. It's partially hooked up. And, uh, gosh, I don't know. What else are we missing here? I had to cut up the floor quite a bit to get the seats down low enough to match the uh, chopped windshield. It's got some license plates in the floor just to cover up some holes. Air filter. I don't know. Great big old beautiful 8274-50 from Warren up front. It's French down into the front bumper. We're gonna, because uh, the intercooler's taking up so much space, we're gonna run at least one truck light headlight on it. And uh, we got uh, PSC uh, power steering ram, but of course we hooked the lines up backwards and it was tacked in place, so it just broke that loose. Steer smarts, uh, steering on, on the uh, Dana Spicer Ultimate 60. I mean, yeah, I guess you could do that, Trent. Yeah. Uh, I don't know whether it'll clear, though. Details. Details. Yeah. Yep. Not the first time, not the last time. Yeah. That's what we've got, yeah. It started right up. We, we really haven't uh, messed with it or did anything to pre-game it. Just prime the fuel. It was, what, one... Wires to fire the whole thing. Yeah. So, I mean, all this is all comes with the engine, so it's a whole harness assembly. The computer's over there on the firewall. There's even a, they make a nice little they have a nice little bulkhead connector that goes to the inside stuff. So there's like a OBD2 port and uh, you know, metal assembly and stuff like that. So it was really, I mean, the Cummins, the actual you know wiring of it making it better. Yeah. There was something too. But nothing too bad. I mean, head for worse. Yeah. <laughs> At any rate, look forward to uh, getting to drive it here maybe in a couple of days. There's just a few more things we got to suss out. Um, but yeah, it's come together. Trent. Thanks, Harry. Now let's get this one to fire. Yeah. Yeah, we got work to do. We got more work to do. If anybody wants to come over in 110 degree weather and yeah. help us swap 4.3. Come on.